360 Strong Women. Today, we're going to do a shoulders and gluteal workout. Very quick, you're going to need a set of weights that are appropriate for you, so they challenge you, but don't wreck your form, and a fabric loop, because we're going to use resistance when we do those mules, and we're going to go ahead and warm up our body first. I'm going to do that rhythmically, so you might be stepping side to side, make some gentle movements. We might mimic what we're going to do today. Take my arms above my head, start to raise my metabolic system, raise my heart rate, and breathe. I don't want to hold my breath. Notice that I'm mimicking some of these shoulder things that I might be doing today. And I'm still moving my body. I'm going to open up my glutes. Open up my hips. Open up those hamstrings. Load the legs. Do a little bit of those hamstring kickbacks. Lift that leg, lift that glute up, and stretch that hip flexor. Also want to rinse out my spine, right? We always do that to get that transverse movement going. Be working shoulders, so I'm going to open up my shoulder girdle. That range of motion. Circle out your arms. You may want to go ahead and pin them back. Keep moving your body so you can do a little grapevine. Oh, great, fine. Take that big breath up. Exhale that away. And then we're going to go ahead, squat down, keep our apple under our chin, and pick up a set of weights. Hi, Jaxie. Did you come to work out with us again? Okay. So again, I'm not there to spot you. I want you to split your stance, keep your low back safe. Coming up to goal post first. I'm going to raise up my weights so that when I look up, I can see them. They're not hyperextended. Inhale here as I come back to this is resting. Exhale, inhale. And then bring those weights down, get some water, put on your loop, and meet me on the ground. I want to come down to my forearms so that I don't put pressure on my wrist flexors and extensors as I drive my leg up. My knees are also hip width, so if I put two fists between my knees, that opens up my hips for me. I also want to go into a toe stand, so I want to dorsiflex my toes 
as I lift up. I'm gonna keep an apple under my chin. I'm gonna look straight to the mat or at you. We're going to lift up first, exhale, inhale. I'm gonna bring my knee right back to my other knee. Now, if you need extra padding for your knees, say you're on a wood floor like I am, this is the way to do it. Just double up your mat. Make it a little extra cushy. And that feels better. All right. So we go up and down. Exhale, like you're kicking the ceiling out. Don't forget to breathe. Two more. Last one, best one. And then bring it down. We go to the other side. Up and down. Then you can take a little break. If you need to, you can slide down to a nice child's pose. If you don't need that, you'll just go to the next exercise. So we're going to take our leg all the way to the top, high, feel that resistance with that band. And then you're going to pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five, four, three, two, and one. Then bring that down, go to that other side, lift it all the way up, and then pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and leave my band on just to save time. We're going to do back flies on the ground, and that's going to take care of our posterior part of our shoulder. Shoulder press, the first one we did, that took care of all of them. Anterior, medial, posterior. Your deltoid is three muscles that connect together to make that really nice muscle. And we want to tone each of them also. So the first one, shoulder press. If you're short on time, that's the one you're doing that takes care of all of them. I would suggest do at least three sets of that. Now we're going to go do posterior. Then we're going to do anterior and medial when we stand back up. And then that takes care of all of them. So we did shoulder press, took care of all of them. And then we have isolated the other muscles. So again, I want to be hip width. I'm going to put my left hand right to the middle of my knee. And then I want to bring my weight over here. I'm going to keep my elbow nice and soft. I'm going to push it back like a big, nice fly, like I'm trying to pull something away from my body. Apple under my chin. Exhale. Inhale. Keep your abs and your back tight. Good. Then we go to the other side. Now, you may need to open up your fingers, wrist flexors and extensors, because you are pressing down. 
consider using your yogi fingers, like you're pressing your fingers down, bending them and keeping your hand nice and soft. So you're not putting all that pressure on your wrist flexor and extensor. It's a really good tip. Keep your belly pulled in and up so that you're not throwing at the low back. As you lift up, exhale, then inhale. Now your posterior part is done. I'm gonna put the weight off to the side. We're gonna stay down here for one more glute exercise. And then we're gonna stand up and finish this off with your superior and medial deltoid. All right, I'm just making the extra cushion, coming down to my forearms, getting off my wrist flexors and extensors. So now my mule is gonna look like this. I'm gonna come up over curtsy like a curtsy lunge up and back exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale done on that side now again you may need to stretch that out come down to a child's pose or you can do this thing called wag the dog you're just sitting into your hips one side and then the other side and then come back down up over up and back exhale inhale exhale inhale Last one, best one. Up, over, up, and back. And then again, you can sit into a nice child's pose or wag the doll, but sitting into your hips a little bit, and that feels better. You can go ahead and take your loop off, grab your weights, get some water, and meet me back up on the ground. All right, I'm gonna grab my weights and split my stance. And we want to work that anterior and medial part of our shoulders. So anterior would be front lateral raise, medial would be side lateral raise. So we're just gonna alternate those just so that we can save some time, exhale, Inhale, exhale, inhale.
and then squat down, apple under your chin, put your weights down, and then begin to stretch everything out. So you can move side to side. Dorsi plantar flex your wrist and turn out your wrist flexors and extensors. You are on top of them. I'm going to go ahead and punch up over just to open up my tricep and then come around for my shoulder. Nice. And you can continue to stretch, move that body. And when we lift heavy, so I went a little heavier today, your heart rate should still come up, especially when we're doing those back flies, because we're almost in a prone position. So a little heart training. When you do your mules, when you do all those mules, prone position, same thing. And you want to make sure that loop has resistance, so you feel the resistance, like you're lifting weights, but you've got length, like you can move your leg around to your curtsy, back up, have extension, and come back down. So you want to be able to do that. Open up those anterior shoulders and the pectorials, your chest. Beautiful. So nice. And you may need to rinse them out just like that. Just give them a little rinse, a little twist. Sit into your hips, sit into your glutes. Give that a little stretch. Now you could do Ardho Hanumasana, your half monkey pose in yoga. If you don't know what that is, you can go into our playlist, hit our button, like, subscribe, share, and go into some yoga stretches. And I'll teach you how to do that. But you could, right, Anjaneyasana, get that hip flexor. Ardo Hanamasana, get the hamstring glute. You can open up your legs here, all the back of those legs. So you're getting into those rotators, nice soft knee joints, just hip hinge, and open up the back of the legs. Get those glutes opened up. Squat in, roll it all the way to the top. L1 through five. T1 through 12, C1 through 7, roll your shoulders, roll your elbows, take a big breath up, side body stretch, because we want to open up those hips to open up that side body, other side, and that's always a go-to stretch, always feels good, lift up, open those glutes, other side, and again, if you need more stretch after you've done this exercise where you need longer, more shoulders, go into our playlist. There's a shoulder, there's shoulder workouts in there, longer workouts. This is just in case you're short on time, get a little bit of upper body, lower body. Tends to help that metabolic system a little bit more. And we've broken them up. So today with shoulders and glutes, now, if you have time and you like this, do three sets. Last roll up. Apple under the chin. Begin to roll that all the way up. Roll those shoulders, elbows. Take that big breath up. Exhale that away. And go in peace. Your shoulder glute workout is done. You've worked all around those glutes. So your shoulders, right, ball and socket joint has anterior, medial, posterior deltoids, right? That's your shoulder muscle. That's what we work. Your glutes also maximus, medius, minimus. So we worked around that by switching up our leg and doing different pulses on those mules. And that gets around the muscles. Muscles are three-dimensional. So you want to make sure that you're moving in either planes of motion or you're working around that muscle. So you don't work just the maximus. Then we have, tend to have a flat butt and we weakened the other muscles. Just, you know, the medial part, which is what a lot of people work and they miss out on the other two muscles. So we wanna make sure that we are balanced with our workout. 
We're working around those muscles. And so this is what this did for you today. I hope that you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it for you. Again, hit our button, like, subscribe, share. We'll see you for the next workout. Bye. Hydrate.